Hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. Okay, I want to show you how to make some sausage croquettes with kielbasa. Yes, we're going to make some croquettes with kielbasa. Oh, I'm going to show you how to do this. And this is for your Thanksgiving meal. Hmm, can you imagine that? Something they haven't heard of. Okay, so let's give it a try. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Share, share, share these videos because uh, people may not be able to visit each other during Thanksgiving. So this is your way of sharing, okay? Alright, uh, let's do it. Check out my links below if you want to support this girl in any way. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to be working with smoked kielbasa. Uh, smoke uh, Polska, P-O-L-S-K-A, Polska, I can't, I'm tongue-tied right now, kibasa anyway, okay, maybe by the end of the video my tongue will release, and we're going to be putting in it some uh, red pepper, I have one red pepper cut up, some onions, oh I just dropped the onion in the eggs, some eggs, parsley, pranko breadcrumbs. Okay, and we're going to be using a ninja to do all the processing. Okay, so let's start out right away with the. Um, I'm going to put a little olive oil, just a little, in the bottom so that it helps spin. And let's put the red peppers in and the onions in. I'm going to uh, process the peppers and onions first separately along with the parsley. And then we'll take the uh, peppers, onions and parsley out and process the kielbasa. Okay, where's my top? Here it is. The ninja's loud, so let me just let you know that. Um, I'm going to go with boost, and it's only going to be for a short period of time because I don't want it down to mince. I want to look and see how that looks. No, not quite. Okay, I want to spin that one more time. Okay, that looks good to me. I don't want it mince. Okay, so I'm going to take that out. You make sure you can see. Okay, that's back on. Put the blade back in. Let me show you how that looks. Okay. Now let's do the kielbasa. I'm just cutting it up into some pieces. About that size. Okay, now we're going to put them in. I paid $2 and something for the package of kibasa. Alright, let's go with uh, 
boost again. Okay, I want to hit it one more time and cut it off real quick. Okay, that'll do it. Okay, so I'm going to take that out and put it in a bowl, and then we're going to go from there. I'll show you that. Okay. So now that we have our sausage already processed, now if you don't have a Ninja, uh, maybe a food processor, you could do this, or if you have a grinder as long as it don't grind it down too fine to like mush you don't want it like uh, paste okay okay so now let's add some seasoning I'm gonna add some garlic and herb I don't want to add salt because sausage is it already a processed meat so it could have a certain amount of salt in it so the garlic and herb would work because that's going to give it some flavor without a lot of salt Okay, now I want to add, I'm going to add half of the peppers and onions and parsley, and we'll see how that works. I'm going to add some black pepper. Okay, now I want to add... I'm going to add one of these eggs first. And I'm going to mix that up. Okay, I think I want to add the balance of the peppers, onions, and parsley. Okay, so it's all in. Now I want to add some uh, panko breadcrumbs. Tighten it up. breadcrumb until you can you see that it can all stick together when you make like a fist with it right I'm almost there not quite beginning to stick together. And I got the pink old, uh breadcrumbs from the dollar store for one dollar. I'm 
Okay, I can begin to form it now into a ball. Okay, and I'm going to put the last of this in here. I got another package. And this was seven ounces of panko breadcrumbs. Oh yeah, we're good now. Let me show you. You can see how I can go like this and it's all together. You see that? That's what you're looking for. Okay, so now we're going to make our uh, croquettes. Let me wash my hands. Okay, now I have another bag of panko breadcrumbs because I used all of this can here, which was seven ounces, in that package. All right, let me get a bowl, put this in, and let me clean that up. I'm going to do this so that you can see everything. One second. That's a little better. A little better. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to make the croquettes. That was a big piece of meat. I took it out. So you can see that it's holding, see? Okay, now I'm just going to put it in the breadcrumb on both sides, and then i got to put it in a pan. Let me get my pan. on the bottom so that nothing sticks to the bottom of the pan. That's some olive oil on the sides too. Helps the clean up, helps the clean up. Okay, so after I put it in the breadcrumb on both sides, this is what we're looking like. Okay, I'm going to put it there. Okay, so we're going to do some more. Try to make them the same size if you can. So 
in the breadcrumb and put it in the pan. Now if you're going to make these appetizers for Thanksgiving, you'd make little ones like that. They're going to be called mini croquettes. Okay? Okay. Just wanted to show you that. Okay, and I have one more that I see I can make. Okay, and let me make some room in here to get this last one in, somewhere here. There we go. Okay, let me wash my hands and show you that. Okay, so we got seven croquettes. I, if you're going to do many ones, you can see that you could get four times that amount, right? Okay, if you're going to do the many appetizers. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is put a drop of olive oil on the top. Just squirt it. It'll spread as it cooks. Okay, so I'm going to cook these in the air fryer uh, just so that you can see that you can cook these in the air fryer or you can cook them in the oven, okay? So let me go with the air fryer. Let me set that up. Okay, so as you can see, I have four here in the air fryer, and then I have the other three here, which is a total of seven that we're going to put in the air fryer. Okay. 
Okay, now let's set it up. Uh, we're going to go with 360 is the temperature I want to go. And I'm going to go 10 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes first and then I'll take a look at it. Okay? Alright, we'll be back. Okay, so our 10 minutes have stopped on our kielbasa croquette. Let's take a look. Okay, looks good. Let's take a temperature. Okay, so it's slowing down at 145. We're looking for a temperature of at 155. So I'm going to put it back in for, let's go five minutes. That should do it. Still on 160 temperature, and we're going to go for five minutes. Okay, and let me give you the word of the day. The word of the day. The word of the day is choice. Choices. Choice. Whatever happens in your life, if you are the one who made the choice, then that's on you. So you can make good choices, bad choices. So let's say you don't like your job. You choose to stay there. If you don't like it, do something about it and change the job, right? Let's say you don't like the amount of money that you make. Do something about it. You already have the experience, so go apply for a job with that experience that can pay you more. Somebody is going to see the work you did over there is even better over at the new job. Choices. You choose to have children. So now, be a good parent and take care of your children. Teach them right from wrong because the choice was yours. It wasn't your child's choice for you to have, to have them. It was your choice. Choices. They were all up to you. So you choose what you want to do. Okay? And if you don't choose to do anything, that's your choice too. You got a right to that too. Okay. That's the word of the day. Choices. Mmm. I'm going to think about that one. <laughs> okay. Okay, you can hear our timer just stopped on the air fryer. Alright, so we're going to be adding some cream of mushroom, cream of chicken soup on the top of the croquettes, okay? So I'm just going to heat this up a little on the stove. I'm going to add a little water because it's thick. Let me show you how thick it is. Very thick. See? Extremely thick.
Okay, so you can see how I thinned it out. See that? So let's heat that up. And I only used half of the can, okay? Half the can of cream of chicken soup. So I'm going to use the cream of chicken soup as if it's a gravy, except it's going to bring it some nice flavor of also. Okay, so let's check our temp. Okay, we're at 159. We are done. All right, so that took 15 minutes for the uh, kielbasa croquettes to cook in the air fryer. Okay, all right, so I'm going to plate this up and uh, show you, and I'll be right back. Okay. So here I have the cream of chicken soup here, okay? Okay, and I'm just gonna put some right on the top. Let me show you that. That's four of them. And this is the other three. Okay. Okay, so I have some, uh, call it, no, some turnip greens and candy yams that I'm going to plate, uh, plate up to show you and taste. Okay, I'll be right back. I just wanted you to see that presentation first. Thank you. Okay, guys, I just want to show you how I plated it up. Okay, this is some candy yams, turnip greens, and the uh, kielbasa croquette with the cream of chicken soup on the top. Okay, let's taste. Let me adjust my camera. Okay. Okay. Wow. It still tastes like kabasa, but definitely a different texture. I like it. Mmm, delicious.
I like the uh, the cream of chicken on the top as well. I have some ton of greens here. I made the ton of greens and candy yams on my channel. You can go check that out. Oh wow. I have to have another bite of the of the croquette. Mmm. That one's a home run. Mmm. Love, love, love that taste. Okay, give it a thumbs up. Share the video. Subscribe. Share, share, share the video. This is another Thanksgiving uh, treat for you. For your Thanksgiving meal. Maybe it'll make your list. And maybe it'll make your dinner list. Who knows. Okay, but at any rate... It will be on my Thanksgiving series just for you. Okay, share, share, share the video. Love you, love you, love you. Check out my links below. Be blessed.